Hello, everybody, and I'm gonna answer a quick question that everybody keeps asking me. Um, this time, I'm gonna answer like, what's the best shoes for dancing? People ask me that a lot, and I mean a lot. Uh, I, the floor is something you have to have in consideration. If you're lucky and you're gonna have encounter like a nice wooden floor, then I wouldn't say go crazy with the leather sole because it's gonna be too slippery and especially if you don't have a lot of experience. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you don't have that much experience. If you were an experienced dancer, you wouldn't be trying to figure out what shoes to wear. So if you can find the leather sole loafers or any type of shoe that has the leather sole, to me, that's one of the best types of uh, soles for dancing. But definitely, always depends on the floor though because I've been in situations where it, it comes way too slippery so that what I do now and I know there's gonna be like a nice wooden floor I go with rubber like trust me it it's just so much easier and you you feel more secure and you're not gonna feel like you're gonna fall if you're gonna go to a type of a scan night and uh, go with the rubber don't sacrifice a style in the name of your feet like I try not to do that and I test, pre-test my shoes a lot before I actually go dancing. So I know I'm, I'm completely comfortable in them and I'm, I, I, I have to feel like they're part of my foot. Um, my heavy duty dancing shoes. I'm not going to say the name of it because everybody knows this brand, but this specific sole has saved my life and this is the type of shoe that I use when I'm gonna dance, especially Norton sole. It's rubber, it's flexible, they're already broken in. I use them like a million times. And even though they're not the prettiest, they're the shoes that give me the confidence and just flexibility to do a lot of stuff. Usually no though, because I'm such a diva, I usually wear yellow loafers, which is like my favorites. I keep changing the, the sole again and again and again. They're very old, I, I'm keeping them as long as I can, but I know someday they're gonna die. They're beautiful though. And those are the ones that I, are my favorite at the moment, just because they're pretty, they make me look good, and I can do a lot of stuff. When I'm wearing this, I'm wearing usually skirts. And when I do skirts, I don't do high kicks and stuff like that. I don't feel completely comfortable though. And I know a lot of girls do it and I completely envy them, but I'm not gonna do something that I don't feel comfortable with and then make a fool out of myself. Um, the shoes that I use when I travel, when heavy duty, any type of dancing, except Northern Soul on really shitty, sticky floors. They're not gonna work. If you're on the rain a lot, you're probably gonna get very slippery, but it's uh, this version of Dr. Martins. I'm not gonna say the name of it because I don't really remember, but this is like, kind of like more comfortable variation of everything they do. I usually hate doctors. You're never gonna see me with Oxfords. You're never gonna see me with boots. It's just too much for me, unrealistic for dancing. And the only way you're gonna see me wearing like my one pair of boots is when it's very, like when it's snowing. And still, Dr. Martin sucks for snow. Like, don't use them for snow because you're not gonna survive. Again, if you don't know if the floor is gonna be very slippery, if you know, if you think it's gonna be like uh, kind of like a rubbery or um, cementy, these ones might work, but you're gonna damage them a lot. But they might work and they might feel more comfortable to spin and slide, but you're gonna ruin them very fast. This one is like the smaller version, cuter version, not as fancier, but the, the, the sole is very nice because it's rubber and it gives you a lot of grip. Again, if you're gonna do ska, Try to do rubber because it's just it has more grip. If you try to dance sky with this thing, you're gonna feel very like insecure in your feet and just like I don't know, like I I would not be able to do it if I was not like a big experienced dancer. Still, like I don't feel completely comfortable in those shoes, and I'm been dancing for a while. All of them have powder on the bottom because my floor is tidal, like not the slippery one that I used to have in the other apartment, but the one that is kind of rough like not slippery, so I, um, I'm always putting powder on the floor. And 
If you're in a party and the floor is very slippery and if it's nice and wooden things, don't bring the powder out just because it's the, the talc out. Just because you have it, just because you want to feel cool and you like, you're going to feel like you're in a weekend casino. I don't believe it's like a, the right situation. Sometimes you just make it like really uncomfortable for everybody else that already is comfortable with being slippery. Uh, again, end of the story, the best shoes for you to dance on are the ones that for you feel comfortable on. I recommend you that don't wait until you're in a party to figure out if the shoes work for you or not. Break them in. Dance at home. I don't know, depending on how serious you take your dancing. I take my serious very dancing. I do practice. I do a practice with different outfits and I even like test how far I can go, if I can do high kicks and if I can go down a little, I, 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 I test it. I do practice my dancing at home though. So when I'm out, I, I feel more comfortable and I'm not gonna feel like I'm practicing over there. So depending how serious you wanna take it, ska, rubber, Norton Soul, if the floor is wooden, you're pretty much good with anything. If the floor is not wooden, you're good with uh, rubber, but the rubber is gonna be get messed up, especially if they're nice shoes. Mm, what else? Oh, there's this technique that people does when there's like rubber shoes. They put a piece of felt. I would recommend you to use a very strong glue. Do not use crazy glue. Do not use um, because cra because felt absorbs the crazy glue and doesn't really stick. And do not use um, hard glue. Use as, um, either shoe glue or this jewelry type of glue that it's clear type of uh, clear paste. You can, if you spin on your heels, get rubber shoes and put it on your heel. Not on the whole heel because it's gonna get slippery and you may fall. Just put it like a, kind of like a half a moon in the, in the in the heel but if you spin with your toes put it in here just a piece just enough for you to slip and that's like uh something that something that people some people do that and i think it helps uh i haven't tried it because i'm very comfortable with it but i think it will actually be a good idea so if you try it let me know and the best shoe at the end it's the one that you feel the more comfortable in. But since people has asked me this again and again and again, I just decided to do a video about it. Bye-bye. Uh, Illuminati, Illuminati, Illuminati. Let me know what you want to see next. Check out my Patreon for tutorials, playlists, and stuff like that. Uh, or just to support and give me $1 per month just because I'm cool. Otherwise, you, there's other rewards. Uh, take care. Eat your fruits and vegetables. And I'll see you next time. Let me know what else would you want to hear.